because Freeman's been atop that uh, list for so long, and he had to. The, the WBO said that Freeman had to fight a guy within the top 15 tonight on this very day, not before, or before the 12 o'clock, the midnight hour, in order to maintain that rate, ranking. And Steve Canton, the uh, manager of VAR, felt that uh, the WBO was out to sabotage it, and they actually got this guy, McCart Deshaun, in town uh, uh, about a week ago and hit him out, thinking that perhaps somebody might kidnap the guy, which is pretty legit, is that Freeman hasn't fought anybody of substance but if you're number one they gave him the number one he should have been able to have a title shot hey it's all about tonight that's why you see the the uh, urgency in his look this is a, a, a critical fight for Freeman Barr because in, in truth a lot of people really don't know what he has to offer is he a legitimate challenger for Joe Calzaghe or any of the top uh, super middleweights in the world he's won his last seven straight Prior to that, lost uh, an effort to take the WBO middleweight championship from Bert Schenk in Germany, lost by KO in the fourth round. So here he is again, Freeman Barr knocking on the door of a title shot. Take a look at how these two stack up. Freeman, uh, three years older, and McCart Deshaun a little bit uh, taller, same weight and same reach. By the way, that Bert Schenk fight, uh, they they claim that uh, he, was, his, he had something in his eye, a foreign substance uh, in Germany. This, the, the rules for this fight, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. The uh, fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and only the referee can stop the fight. So we are ready for our main event. Let's get it started with Joe Martinez. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Corona's World Class Championship Boxing's main event of the evening. Ten rounds of action from the super middleweight division. Live from the Tico Arena in Fort Myers, Florida, this bout is brought to you by CSI Sports. Also in association with SJC Boxing, Arc Associates, the Ramada Inn Limited, and of course, Corona La Cerveza Mas Fina. All bouts tonight are sanctioned by the Florida State Athletic Commission, Chairman Alvin Enten, Vice Chairman Eduardo La Casa, and Commissioners are Dan Bowen, Jerry Wages, and Dr. Dan Perry with the Executive Director, Chris Mefford. Your position at ringside is Mr. Dr. Alan Fields, and the timekeeper in charge of the bell, Bill Anello. The three judges for this bout scoring on the 10-point must system are Peter Trametra, Rick Bays and Bill Ray, and when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Jorge Alonso. And here we go, fine fans, it is time for the main event, but we need to know, Fort Myers, Florida, are you ready? First, fighting out of the red corner. He wears tonight the black trunks trimmed in yellow. He weighed in at 168 and three quarter pounds, hailing from his native country of Armenia as a professional. He has an outstanding record, 16 victories, only one defeat, with 11 big wins by way of knockout. Please welcome the current WBB 168 pound and WBO Pan Asian champion. Here is Marcel Mikartija. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner to my right, enters the ring tonight wearing the black trunks trimmed in blue. He also weighed in at 168 and three quarter pounds, and he joins us tonight from Andrews Island, Bahamas, but lives right here in Fort Myers, Florida, as a professional. He has 25 wins, only two defeats, with 13 knockouts. He is a four-time holder of belts in the Florida State NABO, IBC, and IBO and he is the current number one contender for the WBO world title. Here is Freeman, the natural ball. So Freeman Barr Again, looking to retain Jorge that Alonso. number one ranking. And you know what? He's got a tough task ahead of him. Partisan Barr crowd. And remember, McCartishan has never fought in the United States. McCartishan very, very confident. Real limited interpreting ability by his corner. We had a hard time communicating, but we did find out that his favorite fighter is Roy Jones Jr. Freeman Barr, the natural. Fight scheduled for 10 rounds. We're underway. Very little being said about McCurtishon. In fact, McCurtishon has seen one video of Freeman Barr, and that's all he knows about Freeman Barr. Knows nothing else of him. 
Freeman would really like to, to get a win here and fight for a world title and become a full-time fighter. He's a full-time uh, electrician, very dedicated, has to uh, drive pretty good distance to train when he's not working as an electrician in Naples, Florida. Last time out, he won by sixth round TKO in Miami over Dan Thornton back in March of this year. Kurtishan fought in February of this year in Russia, and he was a decision winner over Sergei Gurishenko. Freeman Barr keeps that left hand very low, dangerously low. But McCartishan making a mistake. He needs to be like that on the inside. Sitting on the outside, Freeman should be able to pick him apart. Neither one of these guys has worked up a sweat, Smitty. Yeah, I don't like to see that. Uh, they both came in pretty dry. Sometimes that can result in a flash knockdown. Gertishan and Barr quite scheduled for 10 rounds. Barr trying to draw him in with that left hand held low. And instead, McCurtishan fires the left hand. Another left by McCurtishan. McCurtishan knows no English. Not little English, he knows no English. <laughs> Did a lot of smiling in our meeting yesterday. His interpreter wasn't much better. But maybe that's a good thing. You know, he doesn't uh, hear all the, the, the chaos and Again, uh, so-called subterfuge that went into this fight. Looks like a strong fighter, though, doesn't he, body-wise? He does. Not a lot of fat on him. Slow start to this fight as they feel each other's styles out. McCartishan has uh, been uh, 12 rounds once, ironically, in the second uh, fight of his uh, career. Freeman's been, uh, you know, 10 and beyond and 12 many, many times. It's amazing to fight your second pro fight year, you're fighting for 12 rounds. Good shot by McCartishan. McCartishan was. 75 and 20 as an amateur. Round one coming to a close of our main event. Round two is next. So round one, a slow start for both fighters as Freeman Barr settles into his stool. You talk about Freeman Barr being patient. Well, patience might not be a virtue. You wait 18 months for a title shot. If he were to lose here, that 18 months would have really been wasted. Right, that's a good point. And he, and he not only needs to win, as I mentioned, uh, he needs to be impressive because uh, I, I've heard uh, rumblings from different networks that part of the reason why he hasn't been an attractive opponent for Kawasaki and others is because, you know, they don't know a lot about him and what they've seen, he hasn't looked that impressive. So it's really important that, you know, that he, he win in a convincing fashion. There he is, Freeman Barr. Out of the Bahamas originally. Known as the natural. There is the unknown, Majir McCurtishan. Back, back. Round two underway here in Fort Myers, Florida. Larry Michael with James Smith. This is CSI's World Class Championship Boxing. In the ring right now, the number one rated Freeman Barr by the WBO as a super middleweight. Taking on the 13th rated by the WBO, Major McCurtishan. McCurtishan has some uh, power. You can see it in the way he throws his punches. And again, you can tell that he has had uh, a lot of amateur experience. And he is a guy that you talk about uh, titles he's currently the WBB 168 champ and the WBO Pan-Asian champion so he has a couple of belts himself took that title in November of 2002 by 12 round decision over Vage Kochatrian great job uh, his favorite fighter Roy Jones Freeman has told me uh, for years and years uh, he loves Evander Holyfield. In fact, actually had him on a, a radio show before Holyfield fought Tyson the first time. He was one of the few guys that picked Holyfield to win that fight. 
Good body work by McCurtishan, who has a bring it up, bring it up, Mike, resemblance bring it up. facially with Andrew Galata. Well, let's hope that, and, and you know what, right, right as you said that, he just threw a low blow, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe something else in common with him. Spitty, you see, really, neither fighter taking an aggressive lead in this fight, so it's a cat and mouse game early. Neither man really taking any chances. And they should go into the favor of Barr because Steve Canton in his corner is a very good strategist. However, as you pointed out, you know, Barr needs to be an impressive here. And this is not winning him a title shot. Of course, they've made him wait 18 months and could be another 18 if this is the type of fight that he brings. You can hear the boos from the crowd here at the Tico Arena. Pretty good crowd on hand. Very excited with the boxing action so far. That is the first sound of booze we've had, and Barr is kind of a local guy here, Smitty. Well, he is from the Bahamas, but lives in this area and has been a product of SJC Boxing for a long, long time, has had many pro fights in this area. Watch your heads. Good body work by Freeman Barr, and you heard the referee warn of a clash of heads. Hurt to Sean on his toes, bouncing around a little bit. Freeman's not committing with that left jab. He's throwing it out there, but he needs to step in behind it. Neither man really will. Oh, a big left hand by McCurtishon. Sends Barr across the ring, and now he's holding on. Close of this round, and dynamically, McCurtishon makes his presence felt. April 30th on demand. Why, I'm the cat in the hat. Everybody's favorite children's classic comes to life for the first time on television. Dr. Seuss's The Cat in the Hat. This cat should not be here. He should not be about. When you order Dr. Seuss's The Cat in the Hat on demand, stay tuned after the credits to learn how to get a free Cat in the Hat plush toy. That is so cool. With on demand, you get a 24-hour viewing period, so you can pause, rewind, and fast forward at your command. The Cat in the Hat premieres April 30th on demand. America is shaping up with Fitness Made Simple's best-selling workout and nutrition videos hosted by fitness celebrity John Baistow. These videos don't offer starvation diets, miracle pills, or magical fat loss belts. Those things never work for me or anyone else I know. What does work are the muscle building workouts and fat burning nutrition plans shown on these tapes. Order on National Shape Up Special today and get the original Fitness Made Simple workout and nutrition video plus six-pack abs. That's two videos for the price of one. Call now. Let's see if Freeman Barr has recovered. Round three underway. Kurt Deshaun tagging with that double left hook as Barr was backing up. So a strategic error by Barr cost him there in round two. There's a right hand by Barr. Sprays the perspiration off the skull of Kurt Deshaun. Certainly uh, woke Freeman up. Sometimes it takes almost getting knocked out to, to wake you up. It's so much on the, the line here in the this fight for Freeman is two losses. I, I was at the Rubacaba fight. That was uh, years ago. The Rito Rubacaba stopped him. And, and of course, Bert Shank. Big left hand again by McCurtishon. Freeman Barr comes right back. McCurtishon opening up with some power shots. Ripping right through Freeman Barr. Cannot get out of the way of the left hook, Larry. And the right hand's going to come. He's bringing it strong right now. And Barr on the receiving end of the onslaught by McCurtishon. Referee looking close to stopping it. McCurtishon using a lot of energy here in the third round. Everything nearly slipping away from Freeman Barr. Another big left hook, and it might all slip away. As the re referee looking intently, Smitty. There's another left by McCurtishon, and Barr is in deep, deep trouble. This is the most trouble Freeman Barr has ever been in in his entire career. Keeps moving forward, however, Smitty. Just the same tactics by him. He's got to switch it up. McCurtishon pounding away He's... at the dome of Barr. You know what? He'll be lucky to get through this round. This guy is very strong. Unless he runs out of gas, he's walking right through Freeman Barr. Ripping shots to the head of Barr. And has absolutely no concern about any retaliation from Freeman. This one very close to being over. Barr taking some serious punishment right now. No legs. Legs are wide open. He's about to go. McCurtishon scores. And this fight is over. 
it is over in the third round. And the man from Armenia, the unknown Majir Mkrtishan, pulls off a huge upset. And heavyweight champ Chris Bird shocked by the results. Yeah, Chris and wife Tracy looking on. And Freeman needed some of the elusiveness of uh, Chris Bird for that man. Wow, what a rise from Russia with love. Introducing Majer McCurtishan. No one here knows him. They do now. But they do now, you're right. And Larry, I was very impressed. I mean, you know, we, we, we talked about yesterday how strong the guy was, and he also wasn't wild. He had very good, solid defense. We can see that amateur background. Tight punches, Smitty. And there is Freeman Barr, that number one ranking that he sat on for 18 months is certainly out the window. Well, you know, and part of the problem was, you know, they, they, it backfired. The plan was he was number one. They were hoping for the deserved title shot because of the ranking. But in truth, did he really deserve that title in terms of the opposition that he had faced throughout his career? Well, there is the winner, Majer McCurtishan, and they will know how to pronounce his name after tonight, won't they? They will. Well, we'll see what 